you record payment to your suppliers in AP Invoice Entry. The information on the invoice then updates open purchase orders, shipping receipts, and general ledger accounts. When you launch AP Invoice Entry, the landing page displays a list of existing invoices. Choose the one that needs a miscellaneous line. Scroll down to find the Invoice Lines tab. To add a new line, select the New Miscellaneous Line button. This adds a miscellaneous billing line. Enter the part for which the supplier is billing you. And then enter a brief description that helps you identify it later. Select the Sales Tax category from this drop-down list. Each category divides parts into groups that you can then review for reporting purposes. If the miscellaneous billing line is tax exempt for resale or other reasons, enter the reason in this field. Enter the part number that the supplier uses to identify the part, specify the received quantity, enter the unit of measure, unit cost, and cost per. Cost per defines the quantity for each unit cost. The system divides the quantity by the cost per value to determine how many units you are purchasing, then multiplies these units against the unit cost to calculate the final amount. The extended amount is the total extended gross price for the line. Click Save to add the miscellaneous line to the invoice.